Welcome to another video. Recently, I covered the Gemini 1.5 Pro experimental model, and it's proving to be great at coding and stuff, even topping the leaderboards. I tried it out, and it did really well in my tests. Its coding capabilities are on par with Claude, though it lags a bit, but its 2 million context window makes up for the other issues. There's no model on the leaderboards with the same context limit as Gemini's. And with this upgraded version, it's going to be even better with the context. So, it only makes sense to use it with Ader. I also asked you guys if you wanted me to use it with Ader, and most of you said yes. So, today, I'll be using it with Ader to make some full-stack applications. It should be great at this. Plus, you can follow along since Google gives a good amount of free usage limits that you can use with Ader to create applications. I'll be using the free version as well, so that's great. Now, for what I'll be creating, I'll be making the same calendar app that I made with Claude. I think it will be a good option to compare and see if Gemini's new version can create something as complete as the calendar app that Claude made. It had authentication and everything. So, today I'll try to make that, and we'll see if it's really comparable. Also, these videos get very long, and to make them more interesting, I have to put in a lot of cuts. I'll also upload the full uncut version for the members on my channel. So, consider taking up a membership if you want to watch the uncut version. Anyway, let's get started. First, we'll need to get Ader installed. To do that, just run this command. This will get Ader installed. Once that's done, export the Gemini API key in your environment like this. You can get it for free from URL. Now, we can start using it. But before that, let's create a Next.js app. To do that, just run this command. This will create the Next.js app. Once done, navigate inside the folder. Now, we can use Ader. To use it, just run the Ader command along with the model operator and Gemini slash and the experimental model name, and Ader will get started. Now, we'll need to give it the prompt. Let's ask it to make a calendar app with Next.js and Supabase. Let's see if it can make it or not. It's generating. Let's wait. Okay, it's now generated. Although, it hasn't added authentication yet. So, let's ask it to do that as well. It's doing that now. Let's wait a bit. Okay, it's done. Let's ask it about the table structure and what I need to configure in Supabase. Let's send it over here and see. Okay, so it's asking to create a table and put the environment variables in the env file. So, let's do that. First, let's create the env file here and put in the variables. Now, for the key, we'll need to create a database on Supabase and get the keys from there. Okay, I've done that now. Let's also create the table with the table structure that it has given here. Okay, so that's done now. Now, we should be able to run it. First, let's install the dependencies. Now, let's run the npm run dev command. Okay, it's running now. Let's look at it. It's showing an error. Let's send it this error and ask it to fix it. Okay, it says it has fixed it. Let's look again. This time it's a new error. Let's send it again and ask it to fix this. Okay, it has done that. Let's look at it. Okay, it still doesn't work. Let's send it again and see. So, it's supposed to be fixed now, and it does indeed work. So, let's register an account here. Okay, so this is how it looks. I think it looks really cool. It has what we wanted. But, there are still some issues. The first issue is that the dates are not visible because it's white on white. So, let's ask it to fix that first. Okay, it's done now. Let's look at it. So, that issue is fixed. Now, the calendar view shows up fine. But there's another issue. 
We are not able to create events here. It just shows stuff. It doesn't allow making events. So, let's ask Ader to add that. Okay, it's doing that now. So, it's done. Let's look at it. Okay, here's the form, and it looks fine. Although, when I type something, it isn't visible because the text color is white. So, let's ask it to fix that as well. Okay, it's done. Let's look at it. So, the form now looks good. Let's add an event here. Okay, this one's working fine. Now, I also want a delete option. Let's ask it to do that as well. Okay, it's doing that now. Let's wait a bit. Okay, it's done now. Let's look at it. So, the delete option is here, but it doesn't work. It gives a 401 unauthorized error. So, let's ask Ader to fix this issue. It's doing that now. Let's wait a bit. Okay, it's done now. Let's look at it. It's still not working. I tried multiple times for the same thing, but it didn't work. It seems like it may be a row-level security issue, but I turned that off, and it still didn't work. So, I guess it's unable to do this part. Anyway, after that, I also did some more fixes, added a landing page, and renamed it to Calendar King. Also, if you're watching till here, comment Calendar King. Now, let me show you the final result. So, here's the landing page. You can see a very basic but good-looking landing page. If we click this button here, you can see the Sign In and Sign Up page. Once you're signed up, you'll see this screen. Now here's the calendar. You can see your events here. You can also add events by entering the title and start end date and time. You can also see multiple other views here, which is really cool. So, that's basically it. Now, about my experience. It obviously wasn't as smooth as Claude 3.5 Sonnet. When I use Claude 3.5 Sonnet, it's extremely smooth and can almost do everything without errors. But it had many limitations and was very prone to breaking, so I had to undo and try again. Still, it's good considering you can use it for free. When using it for free, you may run into some rate limits, so just wait a minute before sending the next message. But it's really good if you're trying to use it for free. Otherwise, I'd say Claude 3.5 Sonnet is better for Ader and generally encoding. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below, or if you want to have early access to my videos and some exclusive uncut videos and courses by me, then also consider taking up a membership on my channel through the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.